Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new video. And this time, I want to answer a question that I received from Ask Victor. But I decided that uh, well, I was thinking that it was quite interesting for just a short video and to talk about the light in my painting table. So, normally, uh, since I'm painting uh, for a long, long time, I'm painting with two, well, at least two lamps, as you can see here. One on each side of the table. The main purpose of painting with two lamps was to uh, uh, minimize as possible the shades when I'm painting. So I prefer to have two, at least two focus of light so I can have light from two sides and in that way I minimize um, the shades on the miniature. I have much better vision. Uh, if I just switch on one light I see that I have a lot of light from one side. The other thing I have is, uh, you can see that I have two lights that are more yellowish and one that is very white. Normally, uh, this, uh, this, this is, um, these two lamps are on the 2700 Kelvin uh, of light and this is much, much white light. I like, uh, this was the last thing I uh, add to my painting table and yeah, I was painting with only two lights for a long, long, long time. But I had this, uh, this third part, this um, third light, and this is because this one has also a magnifier glass inside. It's like uh, the dentist uh, type of light uh, that you can see in, in some consultancy. So this is, very, this is a great light for the tails, and the advantage is that you, I can move this light out, move this down, and then I can paint without holding the magnifier glass. It's very convenient when I have to go for a detail. So let's zoom in. I don't think this can be, uh, it's going to be easy to see on camera, but you can see that uh, once I put on the behind the magnifier glass, yeah, I don't think you will we'll be able to show you. So it's very tricky, but it's really magnifying the, the part, okay? So it's, it's really a, a, a good tool when I need to do faces, if you need to do a face of a miniature or something like that, as you just put behind, you can see all the details there, okay? So this is the configuration I have. And I also realize that I like more to have now the three lights on. These are, um, normally I to, I'm changing everything to LED lights. Uh, today the LED lights are quite uh, strong. Uh, this lamp here was bought in IKEA. Okay, uh, you can buy. Uh, uh, I will say that this was quite an old one. This is still using uh, the type of um, low consumption bulb, but it's more like a, uh, yeah, it's not a LED yet. These two are LED lights. Uh, I was looking for LED as well because when the weather is quite warm, uh, the LED light is is it's cold, so it's not creating heat, and it's also helping a lot. Also, if you want to avoid a big focus of um, heat next to the painting, because if not, the paint will dry out much faster. So this is more or less my configuration of lights. So I like more to work with that than working just with yellow lights. And uh, I don't know if the camera can appreciate that, but when I switch off, this is much yellow. And I think uh, I prefer to work with some more artificial white light. Uh, uh, it's up to everybody, and I think with this, the three lights at the end, uh, I really can I, I can work around. It's no when you get used to that, it's difficult for me to paint on a different table, uh, on a different place because I really need at least two lamps to work. I need two sources of light to work. So really, uh, when I need to paint, I do it on my table. Uh, and this is all the things, so and then I have all my paints around me. I try to have more or less in order, but now it's quite a little bit messy. I try to have all my paints at reach of my arm, and then I have my brushes there. Uh, you see that they have, uh, this was uh, something that I, I had as a present, and I, it's not bad, it's not the, the best thing, but it's quite, quite useful to have that uh, and to, to, to paint. Uh, and that's all the configuration, so uh, so no more to say. Um, normally in this side I have my computer, okay? Um, and when it's not the computer, it's also the table, uh, is where I have the assembly table if it's needed. Although most of the times I go to the kitchen table to do my assemblies. 
it's because I have better space and yeah, it's uh, it's question of I don't want I don't need to move everything uh, and yeah, a little bit messy. I'm not the <laughs> it's not the most tidy um, painting station, but I will say that this is my configuration. And when when I have to film for my videos, I just put with the tripod the camera on top of the table. So uh, and I do uh, like uh, zenithal um, uh, filming. So this is the way for me to film. But yeah, so far, uh, yeah, the question on the lights is this. I work with three lights, low consumption, quite powerful lights. I try to use the most powerful I can find on LEDs. And uh, normally for the normal lamps, I use 2700 Kelvin. And I don't know this one that is not as much a white light. It's more similar to the dentist light. But uh, yeah, I, I don't remember the specification of the light uh, that I have on this lamp. Uh, I had well, uh, before I had another one that was with a fluorescent light, uh, and I stopped uh, the, the fluorescent just stopped working, and I threw it away. Then I bought this one. I think you can buy this quite easily. This these lamps can be buy quite easily, quite easily in Amazon or any. Uh, I bought this online, uh, not very not very expensive, and I think it's a great inversion, especially when your view the site is not the best and you need uh, some additional uh, help to do the fine detail and yeah that's all for the video so let me go a little bit far and then you can see the configuration from from um, far away so let me go a little bit further so you can see here the configuration so normally i work with the lamps put in that position they can move a little bit depending when I put the camera and the camera goes on top of, of the lights so normally I need to move a little bit the lights to avoid that they are in the way normally when you see a shade or something in the weight of my camera it's because one of these lamps are partially in the camera view but yeah, this is the, the configuration I have for my work uh, for my, sorry, my, work, my painting table I hope you like that and that's all for this video um, as usual, leave a comment. Let me know what do you think, and let me know in the comments below what is the configuration and the lines that you use. Uh, that's all for now. As usual, thanks a lot for watching, and see you in later. Bye.